Welcome back to my channel and to go with the to on me and I'm back with another video. So I would really, 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 really appreciate it if you click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post and you will be part of the gang gang. To those who are viewing, commenting, and then subscribing, why are you all being silly? Why? Do the right thing. Hit that subscribe button. Let it turn gray and be part of my mom, mom, channel. Yes. Yeah. I'm trying by all means to elevate myself because yo, give me flu and it flew in hit her hard because yeah. By the way, I did get my piercing. To those who watched my sh collective haul which will be the video before this one <laughs> I did get my piercing so yo so yo by the way it's so painful this piercing is so painful and even my ear right now is swollen so painful but back to the point back to the point of this video okay so yeah in this video we're going to, to be talking about the different programs that are offered in Tibet colleges which is and by the way to those who want to apply as so, well and for the applications are open you know second semester applications are open at for the college go to their website and apply because they do not take a walk in you have to only apply online okay and in college there's no app score what's that like there's no app score APS score there's no such a thing only if you pass your metric you're good to go you can apply for any course that you want and I would highly 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 recommend and advise to anyone who is going to be studying at college or especially for say, I would just say apply on all campuses because for say, I think has like five campuses. Yeah, it's the Kailicha campus, um, Mitchell Spain campus, Fishu campus, Musenberg campus, and what's the other one? What's the other one? I don't know, but yeah, somewhere there. I forgot the other one, but it's somewhere there. Yes, there are different courses offered at each campus, but you can just like make them your options, you know, course one, course two, course three, course four, and just apply on all campuses, even on all colleges, like just do your best and apply because you never know. You never know, you'll be underestimating colleges until they also reject you. <laughs> Don't play with colleges, they can also reject you. There are several people, lots of people who are crying and being rejected by colleges and it's so, so not good. It's so painful and so draining. So, do yourself a favor, apply on all colleges, all universities, like just, just apply, just apply. Yeah, by the way, back to the main point. So, the three programs that are um, available in Tibet colleges, there is APLP, there's ENCV, which is E level, and then there's Inated. So that's three. So Inated, which is N4 to N6, is done by someone who has a metric. By the way, don't mind my hands. So let me come closer, maybe it will be better. Ooh, well. <laughs> so yeah, the three programs. So Inated is mm, from metric. So if you have a metric, I pass a go to off with B D H I think. Yeah, you pass. So you can go to in in eight, which is N four to N six and then get your certificate. Get your three certificates and then do your in service, which is an internship and then get your diploma and then you are after eighteen months by the way. And then there is E levels. E levels are for those like maybe you dropped out of high school in grade 10, grade 11, grade 9, but you've passed 
you can't say grade 9 because you have to pass grade 9 in order to get into 11. So maybe you drop out of grade 10, 11. Yeah. And then you want to go back to school, but it would be like, you know, it's too late to me for me to go to high school. You just don't want to go to high school. So you prefer going. Sorry about that. You prefer going to college. Yeah, you can go to college and then apply. But applications for like levels are not yet open. I think they will open around September or August. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. But around and like before the year ends, yeah, that time around. So yeah. So if you drop out of high school or you just literally in grade ten and you just don't wanna continue in high school, you just wanna go to college, you can come to college but you go from level I think level le no you go from level two, level three, level four. Yes. You go from level two, three, four. And that will be it. And then go you get your I think what what's the answer of kid they call it? I don't know. I, fo I forgot the name, but yeah, you get to. But that certificate is equiv equivalent to metric, you know, like it's equivalent to Umeli. Yeah. And then what else? <coughs> oh my, my throat. Oh, guys, if you. And then what else? And then else? Oh, a PLP. The PLP is only done by a person who has done metric before, but failed metric, but just doesn't want to go from like to go back. Literally, why would you want to go back? So yeah, instead of like like go back and do E level, whereas the is PLP, and the PLP is like most people do not know about PLP, and I think not all colleges. Of my PLP, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. But now, personally, I didn't know about a PLP until I was doing, I think, N5 or N4, N4. But that time it was the ending of the semester. That's when we knew about a PLP because we, we we would see posters on the walls around the campus, and I was like, okay, there's something that is called PLP. Yeah, there is something called PLP. PLP is done by those who failed metric which is grade 12 only and then you can go and do your PLP PLP which is for one year and then after one year yeah it's like school because you will be doing your English your maths and your what 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 yes the same subject as in high school and then you're gonna do it for one year and then after one year you get that certificate that is equivalent to metric and then you can apply to varsity. You can apply even to like to to further studies too in college and to your N four and five and six. So also to those who are done E levels, yes, after getting that certificate after I level four, you get that certificate which is equivalent to metric certificate and then that's when you can also apply in varsities or you can so Further your studies more in college and do your N4 and that N6. And I think I've covered pretty much everything because everything about the expenses, N5 and everything, I talked about it in my previous video. So if you want to learn more about that, click on that video. And yeah, by the way, all these courses are, are funded by MSI, so no need to bother. Yes, they are funded by MSRs. You do not pay for anything, by the way. Yeah. And what else? I think that's it. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, yes, I know this video was pretty much short and quick and all over the place. So I'm going to try that. But yes, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit the bell notification so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video and help this channel grow. Share this video with your friends and they share with their friends, their fam, whatsoever. And stay safe. Love you all. Bye.